Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-machine.com. Today in this lecture, I will be talking about how you can install MySQL on Mac operating system. So before we start the video, I just want to quickly highlight which version I'm using because now this installation will depend on which operating system or to be more precise, which version you're using. So I'm recording this through my MacBook M1 and OS version which I have is MacBook Big Sur 11.5.1. Now let's continue. So in order to start, first let me remove everything. This is the previous versions I have. Just to make sure nothing is available, I will just search for MySQL and you can see come on not found. Even if I type MySQL hyphen U, which is again my root user hyphen P. You will understand this command after this video so as of now i can see it says command not found mysql right now let's install this first and we'll run this command again first of all search for mysql and type server mysql server and it will navigate to this dev.mysql.com and it's a community server you can see all these latest versions are coming for uh, basically Mac OS 13 which is not compatible if you do it in this operating system which is my system 11. So packages uh, for 13 are compatible with 12 but not with 11. So what you can do click on this archives and now you can see which version you're looking for. So at the time of recording if I select 8.0.31 it's highlighting for Mac OS 12. And if I go back to 30, again Mac OS 12. But if I search Mac, sorry, version 8.0.28, now it's giving packages for Mac OS 11. And again, these packages are compatible with 12 as well. So I'm using 11, so I will quickly go ahead and download this. Again, depends on the internet connection. It will take few seconds and we are good to go. So once it will download, then we can start the installation part okay now let's install this so let's click on it it will take a few seconds it will verify checking volumes finishing yes you will be getting this dot pkg file double click on it and the installation will start again it is asking you so click on allow click on continue click on continue agree install okay it is asking you that make sure that you have minimum this mb of a space so if you don't have again this installation will be incomplete so make sure you have enough space click on install now it is asking my system password so let me quickly enter the system password writing files yes almost done now the two options you can use use string pa uh, strong password encryption or legacy password click on the strong password which is by default click on next now please remember this password before entering i would recommend if you note down somewhere because many times you'll forget this password so i will use my name but whatever password you are giving make sure you note down somewhere click on finish again it is asking my system password so i will give my system password it's doing some setup part and it will be ready yes now once you're done you also need mysql workbench so just again search for mysql workbench and again i'll uh, just go to downloads download mysql workbench now in order to do this now it is asking uh, if you want to use this you need 11.1 or newer so it will download this one which is 8.0.32 and the one that we have downloaded mysql server is 8.0.28 so again you might get this compatibility issue okay so what you can do click on the archive and select the exact version so now 8.0.28 and the server the also that we downloaded is 8.0.28 now it should be fine click on download okay so in case the workbench is not getting started so just check the version compatibility again it will do the few stuff again verifying checking volumes finished 
so now it will ask you something like this let me drag here so just click on my workbench okay I already have one previous version so it says do you want to replace I will replace it it's done now okay so I can close everything nothing is required if I want to cross check I go to this uh, top icon click on this Apple icon click on uh, system preferences okay you can find here MySQL the moment you click it it will show you the active instances and it's running and if you are not getting this option maybe you have multiple icons you can search here oh, MySQL it's available and it's working fine now how you can get started search open this search icon and uh, search for MySQL workbench click on open it's taking few seconds to start yeah. says welcome to MySQL workbench now click on this local instance and it will ask you the password now this password is the exactly same password which I used while installing which was my name in my installation and yeah they are able to continue so this is your workbench now you can start writing your SQL query just to cross check I will write one query which is show databases and execute this and yes I'm able to find the number of databases four row return and this is the four rows the moment you try to run uh, MySQL from the command prompt and if you try to use any command you will be getting command not found even though everything is working fine your workbench is ready you are able to connect to the database uh, through workbench but the moment you start using MySQL from the terminal you will end up getting this command not found now let me show you how you can fix this just a small change here that you need to perform in the zshrc file and we're good to go so before we start this let me show you a few important points so that you can connect this in a better way if you go to uh, this option called go to folder remove everything just search for dot usr in the usr you will find couple of options okay so bin lib you will also find local folder then you will find uh, basically mysql and mysql 8.0.28 if you open this mysql folder you will find a binary folder and if you open this binary folder this is what the command will get executed so it's a small unix executable file this is the file path that we need to set so remember the path usr then local and the bin not this bin sorry usr local mysql and then bin so before we set this let me check the existing path you can also do the same just type echo dollar and path so right now this is the output of my system so these are the path variables which i already have so i have for homebrew for python and few other stuff but i don't have for mysql right now how you can do that very easy just type vi i'm using vi editor but you can use any editor and before this let me check this file so type ls hyphen al or just ls hyphen a and you will find one file called zshrc file so if i open this file using vi editor so i will type vi dot zsh rc hit enter you can see i already have the path right path variables here what i will do i will press i from my keyboard this is how the vi editor works i just pressed i from my keyboard and i will use colon here and now i will be providing this path so first of all usr so i will write slash usr slash then local inside usr local so local again inside local i have mysql so my sql inside mysql we have bin folder right slash bin that's all 
I will press escape from the keyboard listen carefully escape from the keyboard then colon then W then Q so write and then quit so W uh, colon W quit and hit enter let me clear this and let me print this again echo dollar path so now you can see it's not listing right because we need to also run a command called source so first of all again I will open that file dot the research RC it's already available perfect I will again go back and I will use source s o u r c e in the file name dot z s h r c this is important the moment is source and the same file it will actually reload now let me close the existing command start again and type now echo dollar path so now you can see it's added here right initially we were we had everything but this was not available now it has been added if I type now mysql hyphen u username is root hyphen p for password and now it is asking password in my local system password is my name itself and yes now you will not get this issue that mysql command not found now you are inside mysql and you can trigger any SQL query so if I say show databases these are the databases I have and now I can continue with whatever queries I want to execute yeah so very easy only thing is you need to add this path to the path variable so I will repeat this again first execute this command echo path if you don't find the path here for your uh, MySQL this is the standard path but if you want to cross check then go to folder just search for USR then local MySQL bin this is the path that we need to add how we have added vi.zshrc again press I from the keyboard so it will go in insert mode colon and add the path escape colon WQ it will uh, come out from this editor then you just need to say source dot the file name which is dot zshrc then close all the terminal okay, if you don't close the terminal you might end up with the same command now type mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and my password and we're good to go